It's a couple Jordan 1 retros and they gotta be in your collection You just collect them, you never gon' step in I can respect it, but that ain't for me I gotta lay so deep, let's see me threes and throw a little fit together Get on the go L, play some bid and hopefully I can just hit forever I'm from the bottom of the one around with this part of our culture, you gotta be fly Well flowing with the Air Forces, put that shit on to the day that I die Nikes over Adidas, What's going on YouTube? It's your boy the Retro Wiz Kid, the Shoeologist and y'all rocking with your boy in the Sneaker Dungeon, y'all. Hope everyone's having a great day today. Today is Sunday. Now, yesterday we had a classic, an OG colorway. One that we've been waiting to get back. The last time they had released was 2011, and it was only right that they bring them back. Now, we're going to recap this release and everything. And I'm going to just tell you guys my thoughts and opinions on it. And, of course, y'all see the thumbnail. We got to bring them out for you so you guys can see the comparison from the last release in 2011 to the release of 2022 of the Air Jordan Retro 7 Cardinals. Yes, Lord, I could not wait for these jokes to come back, y'all. I mean, me personally, I feel like this is probably one of my favorite Air Jordan 7 colorways. Before we get all the way into the video, like, comment, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Head over to Instagram, follow your boy at the Retro Wiz Kid as well. And y'all already know how we rock. Let's get straight into it. Yeti! Ah, yes, sir. So, not like how we've been getting the Jordan box with the sevens. You know, I want to say this is my first pair of sevens in this box, if I'm not mistaken. The other boxes that we've gotten have been the ones like what we've been seeing with the 11s and stuff like that. That's the type of box that we've been getting. But if I'm not mistaken, this might be my first box that actually looks like this for the Air Jordan Retro 7. Now, you do get the Nike Air branding on this bad boy and everything like that. So, I think that that's also pretty dope. Now, we're going to go ahead and just get straight into the sneakers. Now, I did pick this pair up from Finish Line yesterday. Didn't have no reservation or nothing i just went into the store cop the sneaker which i thought was pretty much what i think anybody in any location i feel like wherever they were was probably able to do that we in there yes lord yes lord y'all the 2022 cardinal sevens y'all and y'all know what time it is man it's only right we're gonna do a little comparison breakdown let you guys see the differences and what they did with these compared to the ones that came out in 2011 and then i know the pair in 2006 some of the differences that they had in those and you know what i'm saying we'll go ahead and chime in on all of that so let's go ahead and grab that 2011 pair all right y'all so y'all know we here to compare these sneakers right here over here we had the 2011, the previous release, and we have the newest release of the Cardinal 7s right here from 2022. Now, big differences, man, and y'all already know I'm going to start off with box presentation. It's clear to see that you guys can see we have the older style Jordan box that we were getting back then. This one right here getting hit with the Nike Air branding and all that good stuff, and totally different box presentation than what we got back then. So when you look at that, I say, hey, that's pretty dope that they upgraded us with a different box, but I mean... It's been since 2011, I would think that they would have changed the box by then. Now, one thing that I will point out on this sneaker, some just big takeaways, is that the quality of the sneaker and the way that they put the holes on the sneaker and everything like that, I feel like they did a very good job with the tumble material on this pair. And this is what I said when I did my what to expect of the 2022 Cardinal 7s was the quality upgrade. The tumbled leather and just the way that even the flat leather that you get on this I feel like it's definitely a nice little upgrade from the leather that we got in 2011 now when you're looking at these sneakers another big takeaway that I would say is the tongues this tongue right here sits a whole lot higher than the tongue did in 2011 pair which I mean again small little update upgrades to the sneaker just like Aglis we got Aglis on the 2011 pair we got silver Aglis and I believe in the 2006 pair that came out before this one we actually got gold Aglis but if I'm not mistaken, I don't believe, if I'm not, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm not sure if the OGs actually had aglets, but these do not have any aglets on the sneaker, which, you know, some people might say that they're happy that they don't have the aglets on there just because of the simple fact that these right here sometimes tend to make the shoes feel like some people will say the shoes come loose easier because it's a little bit heavier on the lace. But, you know, it is what it is when it comes to that. I would say that the font, font is pretty 
pretty spot on to being the same maybe slightly different fonts on this sneaker for the tongue right here as far as the bottoms and everything everything checks out being pretty much spot on with the same type of bottom effect to the sneaker the one thing that I will point out is on the inside of the sneaker on the 2011 pair you guys can see we got this red line right here going around the inside of the sneaker and on the pair that we got that recently released for 2022 you don't have that back there um that's just small little small little things small little things and i could say that i feel like you know the material is a little bit different when it comes to the pool tab on the back the material is just slightly different on there and again the, this part right here sitting higher than it was in 2011 on the sneaker as well and i'd even say that i feel like this whole upper area right here is just a little bit thicker you know it's a little bit thicker than what we got in 2011 and when you're looking at the black part right here coming out on the outside of the sneaker it's a little bit cut a little bit shorter on this pair and you can see a lot clearer that there is that white area right here now on the pair that we got for 2022 you guys can see it's a little bit higher with the black right there and then it's not cut as low and you can see just a bare minimum of the white pick a through there. So here's a 2011 pair. And then here is the 2022 pair. And you guys can see that nice little slight difference. Which, you know, all in all, I do feel like I like these over the 2011s. But this just means that I'm about to break these down. I've been wearing these to the gyms to work out in. It's an older sneaker. Uh, I really was looking forward to getting this pair right here. This one right here, I'm really pleased with the way that they did this sneaker. And y'all comment down below. Let me know, did you guys pick a pair up? Now, when it came to this release, this was not one of those releases that I felt that you had to go to the store, put in a raffle ticket if you do raffle tickets, or do head starts, or, pre -re or reserve it on Foot Locker, Finish Line, or anything like that because I knew that this shoe was going to be sitting. I just knew it. It didn't sell out on Nike. Uh, Sheep restocked all the sizes today as well and today is Sunday. You know, you should be able to go grab this shoe if you wanted to grab this shoe. It's been like that with Air Jordan 7s over the past couple of years. I mean, 7s don't tend to sell out as much as other retros. I mean, the only retro 7 that I can honestly think of that sold out just like flew off the shelf was the Trophy Room 7s, y'all. That's the only sneaker that I could think of that like just flew off the shelf now you go back in the day a decade or so ago it was a little bit different people were buying sevens I felt like you know but still back then the sneaker game was different but now in days a lot of people don't tend to really gravitate towards the Air Jordan sevens but hence trophy room sevens we knew people would gravitate towards them because it's a collab it's a trophy room y'all already know the vibes of that now other than that I definitely think that this was a solid sneaker I still need to get my hands on the citrus sevens uh that one right there you know some places i've heard they're still sitting in some areas you can find them at outlets people have been finding them in outlets and stuff like that but that's one that i did not pick up but this one right here being one of my favorite colorways when it comes to the air Jordan sevens i almost doubled up on them i ain't gonna lie but i, I felt like there was no point on doubling up because i still had my 2011 pair and this pair right here is gonna be on ice for a little bit and i'm gonna just go ahead and rock those um i ain't even gonna lie i might not even keep these on ice ah you know what i'm saying i might throw these on just because these are the newer model you feel me but i definitely would say that the shape and everything of the sneakers they i feel like the other ones were just a little bit wider f f felt like in the front but the shape some people say that they don't like the shape of these but i dig the vibes i like the shape of this seven i like everything that they did with it i'm glad that they finally did bring the cardinal sevens back as i tell people always when it comes to og colorways if you miss out on an og colorway and the price is like stupid crazy but you just want that specific year or for collector's purposes you want that specific year go for it but when new people jump into the sneaker game and you know people be asking hey what should i make this for my first shoe if this is a sneaker that came out three years ago i normally tell them hey just wait you gonna get the shoe back within the next three years so unless you're willing to pay that extra money and you want to get the shoe just wait they're gonna do something and bring back the shoe again like they always do they're gonna always spend them og colorways there are certain colorways of sneakers that you know I expect 
they probably won't ever come back. One would be probably the Bobcat 10s, for example. I don't think they're ever going to retro that sneaker again. I don't know why they would retro that sneaker again. Um, it was never really a popular retro, but it was one of the first Air Jordan Retro 10s to have an icy bottom. So, you know, it, it is what it is. Some people would some people would say, like, oh, they might bring that back. But that's one that off the top of my head, that's one Jordan that I just feel like they're never gonna bring back. It was one and done. Let me know if you guys picked up a pair of the Air Jordan Retro 7 Cardinals. It is your boy the Retro Wiz Kid. I will spin them pictures for you guys. Until the next video, peace, love, and Laguna Beach, and we out this thing. Get it! It's a couple Jordan 1 retros and they gotta be in your collection You just collect them, you never gon' step in I can respect it, but that ain't for me I gotta lay so deep, let's see me threes and throw a little fit together Get on the go, L, place a bid and hopefully I can just hit forever I'm from the bottom